Today I'm going to be doing an honest, genuine, unfiltered review about Glossier makeup. I've seen a ton of stuff about Glossier makeup on the internet. I'm sure you have too if you're watching this video, obviously. I'm not going to be like hating on this and like being like, oh, it has no coverage. When that's not really the purpose of Glossier. The first thing I'm going to try is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. Everything is super cute. It comes in light pink packaging with like a white G logo. Even their makeup came in this adorable makeup bag that has like pink bubble wrap um, it's actually not like bubble wrap on the inside it's actually contained within the makeup bag it's really really cute and also super functional but yeah I got the concealer in light I think the whole like idea of it is that it's supposed to be more like movable like it's supposed to move around with your skin like stretch with your skin I don't know if you can see but it has smiley faces all over the inside with three eyes. This is what it looks like on the inside. So I got some on here. I'm not exactly sure how much I'm supposed to put. Um, I didn't bring a mirror with me, which is kind of a flawed idea. So I'll just have to do it here, I guess. Um, okay, it's actually a pretty good shade match, I think. Why am I doing this with my pointer finger? I have no idea. Okay, so that's like with one-ish layer on this eye. You can kind of see like this eye has a lot more darkness to it. One thing I don't like about concealers is that they always make me look really like cakey because I just feel like a lot of concealers are like heavy duty and stuff and it just kind of looks like cakey under your eye. I'm really liking the way it looks. A lot of people online that are like that I've watched videos of have been saying that it looks really like really really wet under their eyes. Definitely as you can see it is a little dewy but it's not like wet. It's not like you know, so like unbearably wet. I'm gonna try to conceal a bit of redness around my nose. I have a lot of redness over here. I don't know why. Um, it's just always been like that. That actually covered it up pretty well, as you can see. Yeah, so honestly, I think the concealer is like really nice so far. I really like it, I don't know. Wow, I did not expect to like it so much. Yeah, so far I'm really liking this. So next, I'm gonna try the Boy Brow. This probably got the product or their brand like on the map. This is the box, again, just super cute, pink and white. And then this is the actual product. The product is really small. Like if I compare it to just like an average makeup brush, this is the size comparison for you. It's really small. Um, it is for your brows, so like how big you want it to be. I don't do my brows usually. I It's not because I don't think I need to do them. Like they're not the greatest. It's just I suck at doing them. If this can make it easier to just like fill them in a little bit then that would be awesome. So I got the shade black to add some color and I'm just gonna swipe it in like this. Whoa. Uh, I feel like I'm not dispersing the product evenly. Why is this so wet and why is so much coming off at once? What the heck? Am I not doing this right? Oh my god, that looks horrible. This looks so- like, why is- like, I have the most hairs around the middle, so I feel like that's why it's getting so dark. Um, yeah, that is a, not a cute time. See, I told you guys I don't know how to do eyebrows. Okay, wait, let me just try to wipe some off the brush. I'm just wiping it off here. Now lightly go through this brow. Oh my gosh, see, it's globby. See, I don't know how to, like, evenly disperse it. Like, the product is not coming off evenly. See? What the heck? Wow, it really holds it in place. Okay, so my phone died, so I have to go recharge it. But in the meantime, I took a spoolie and brushed out the brows. I think they look slightly better. If you have like actually good brows and you know how to do your brows, I feel like it'd be good. The only thing I feel like it's not my fault is the applicator itself. Like it's very like, not the applicator, but like the formula or the applicator, I don't know. As you saw, it does not like disperse the product on evenly. It just like globs it on and it's kind of like hard to work with. The actual formula though, like you could see it would not budge the brow hairs, but yeah, it's kind of like not really easy to evenly distribute within your brows. Next up is the Halo Scope. This is a cream highlighter and it has like a gel core in the middle of it. Okay, I can't open this. 
What the heck? I don't want to like break the box and it's really nice. Okay, there you go. I got it in the color quartz. It's kind of like a champagne color. It's really, really pretty. Again, there's that gel thing right there. Let's see how much product we get. That's how much you get, which is not bad. It's pretty thick. I'm gonna try it out. I heard some people really like this and some people really like not like the gel core. Yeah, it just feels like chapstick. Like the middle feels like chapstick. Let's see how it looks. So I'm just gonna swipe this on. Like, what? Did that do anything? Let me swatch this. That's what it looks like. I don't know, I'm not really seeing anything on my actual face. I feel like it's just wet balm. Let me try to get actually some of the like champagne part of it. Okay, so the champagne part actually has some pigment, but I feel like when you mix it with the balm, it just, it kind of loses that. I'm just gonna use the side of it. It just looks like a balm. Like, I know it's supposed to be natural and stuff, and like, that's not why I'm like surprised. I thought it would be like champagne color based on like the color of the stick, but it just, it looks clear. I don't know. I don't know if I recommend the halo scope. The formula is nice. The feel is nice it gives like decent glow but it's just this glow does not look like the color of this stick personally i'm not gonna rebuy that i'm gonna move on to the next product which is the powder i'm so excited for this powder this is their wowder and it has a sifter thing on the inside and then a bumpy thing on the inside as well so like in like compress the powder together so it doesn't like spill everywhere, which is honestly genius. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Okay, oops. Something smelled off for a second. I don't know if it's just my brush. Probably it's pretty dirty. Yeah, okay. Um, don't really know what to say about this. I feel like it did its job, so yeah. I don't really know what to say about this. It's just a powder, like, it's nothing special with this one. It does its job, like, if you want a mattifying powder that has a little bit of color, it does its job. <music> Lastly, I have this Generation G lipstick. It looks so pretty. I got it in the shade Cake, which is a peachy nude color. Here it is. This is the color. I'm gonna do a little swatch on my hair. And there's the color. So I think that's really pretty. But I think it's really pretty. It's pretty close to my lip color. And I'm gonna use this as a blush because I'm looking dead. Okay, so yeah, I really, really like this. I got it in the shade Cake once again. It kind of like leaves a stain, but it like stays on and it's like lip balm like, but like kind of like velvety but it does feel like dry it's such an interesting texture i've never like really experienced anything like this before what i would go for is the stretch concealer and the generation g lipstick i think that this is like so like worth the money um the boy brow if you have like thick brows or actually know how to do your like makeup, I think it'd be really good. So many people like it. So it must be me. I must be doing something wrong with it. And then things I pass on is the highlighter, nothing special at all. And then the powder, also nothing special. But that is my honest opinion on Glossier. I hope you guys liked it. Sorry for this annoying towel. I'm literally sitting on the bathroom floor because it has the best lighting coming in through this way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Wrist looking like it been dipped, dipping that, dipping that, dipping that. Script looking like it been flipped, flipping that, flipping that, flipping that.